with. But the fawn knows better. The little impala is persistent. Soon the mud will wear off and the mother will again accept her. The crocodile reappears covered in fresh red earth. She thrusts her head into the mud and swings it from side to side. At first her peculiar behavior is a puzzle, and then her secret is revealed as her muddy jaws open gently to release the newly hatched babies she has carried down from her nest on the riverbank. This is the reason she has remained in the pool so long. She would never desert her young. She is their only protection. predators and the thick mud, there is no chance for the little crocs, and all will die within an hour. Back in the big pool, crocodiles writhe and heave over another carcass, and once again hippos are amidst the frenzy. There's nothing for them to eat, yet something attracts them here. on the carcass, the crock spins until a piece breaks off. The hippos seem content to gently interrupt the spinning crocks from time to time. But no one knows why they attend these terrible feasts. little rain has fallen, and the animals risk death for water. disturbed by the violent arrival of the croc's latest victim. For this one, there will be no lucky escape. The baby hippo is already wedged deep among crocs, close to the impala carcass and the biggest crocs in the pool. The mother then does a strange thing. Rousing herself to investigate the scene, 
She pushes her baby almost onto the impala and then retreats, leaving her calf between these jaws and the meal. The mother's presence is enough to ensure her safety, though baby seems less certain. But the mother knows they wouldn't dare, and she drifts back into the secure slumbers of the strong. The pool has become so dangerous that most animals prefer to drink from the pits. But a fierce comedy of survival results when so many are desperate for water. Large male baboons commandeer the pits and drink every mouthful of water that seeps in. They can scare off most animals, but sharp horns have the advantage, and the baboon reluctantly gives way. Competition at the pits is so fierce that those that can't cope with a big baboon have to take their chances at the pool. A nursing mother must have water, but she takes a terrible risk to get it. that another croc has her baby. The croc will lose its prize to the others unless it leaves the pool. But when it does, a big baboon is waiting.